Hey everyone, what's up, North Collectors? Here we're opening up two blaster boxes of 2024 Topps Heritage Baseball. Let's see what we can get out of these. Uh, I've seen a few of these open online, and they look halfway decent. So let's get into these. These were $25 at Walmart. Got them today in the mail, actually. Um, pretty speedy delivery from Walmart. Overnight delivery, pretty much. Um, or next day one day whatever two day it's like nothing anyways uh, free delivery um from them and only 25 bucks the buyer by me is uh 30 bucks for a blaster so anyways here's what you can find uh in these uh blasters it says look for autographs and relics from your favorite um stars in the 1975 design uh, you can find the retail exclusive 1975 tops in 3D. And then the baseball sensations, which are those pink. And, and then they also have the gold foil. And, of course, the Zoos Who stick-on uh, stick on. So they're like a sticker. Um, they don't look like a sticker, really. They look like a card. So I don't, at least the ones with the monster box did. Let's see what's in <clears throat> this box here. Hopefully we can pull something pretty sweet out of one of these. Or maybe both of them. All right, let's see. Maybe an autograph, maybe some kind of a parallel. That would be awesome. And let's see how many short prints we get. The Monster Boxes have quite a few short prints. So definitely a fun set. Um, not for everybody, however. Uh, a lot of people don't really like it, um, but a lot of people love it. There's the Zeus Who. It says it's a. It says on the thing is a stick on. That might be. Yeah, I guess you could maybe try to peel it. I'm not gonna peel it, but there you go. Chicago Cubs, pretty fun. Um, let's see. If we had any short prints in there, or uh, sorry, variations, short prints, variations, whatever you want to call them. Uh, nothing there. So the short prints are numbered 1 through 100, and I have been flipped around from what I've seen most all the time. Um, let's see if that's the case in this pack here, too. I'm just going to put these right here so I can go back through them. Bobby Witt Jr., um, Yaskremski, and then a Flashbacks, uh, which is an insert, and then Scooble. Let's see. Usually when you get an insert, you don't get anything. Um, that is too special, which that was the case in that pack. The uh, Target stuff is coming out to, or I mean, is coming to my house here soon. Uh, and we'll definitely be opening that up. Um, there's red parallels in the giant boxes of Target. Here's our first short print, JJ Blade, numbered 23. And let's see if we got anything else in there that we could not identify some of the um, variations are very hard to identify, uh, like the color swap. I mean, it's not hard if you know the original color of the card, but if you don't, you just breeze right by it if it's not flipped over. Um, and uh, the uh, one of the toughest ones is going to be the, uh, what's it called? Oh, we got a relic here, I think. Um, there we go, Reed Detmer's relic. Reed Detmer's relic and... Uh, the flip stock is what I was thinking of as one of the hardest ones to identify. So yeah, nice. We got a relic. So now I think about that. We spent $25, bought a blaster box and got a relic and you spend uh, 90 to a hundred bucks and buy a hobby box and most of the time you get a relic. So Reed Detmer's relic. Um, interesting. Uh, sometimes in retail, the value is quite good in heritage. Now, a lot of times you have to open up a fair amount of boxes, but even if you spent a hundred dollars on retail i think you may win out we should do a hobby versus retail of this that would be definitely a good video so i do have one hobby box left i'll probably do that next week so stay tuned for that if you want to see that let me know in the comments below heritage hobby versus retail i'd be more than happy to do a video on that that wouldn't be too hard all right so there's a nice dominguez that's kind of a tough pull actually See if there's anything else in here. If they loaded up a blaster box, we have this Jake Rogers short print and Bryce Miller. All right, nothing there. Let's try to pull one of the black chromes. I would love to pull one of those. Um, 
Sometimes when you get a hit in these boxes, you get something else. The Tops has a way of doing that with these uh, blasters. Let's have in the past. There's a Ronald Acuna, and there is our um, Sensations card, Baseball Sensations, Bobby Witt Jr. These are numbered diff differently on the back, um, and they are exclusive to retail. Um, and they do come in that pink, I mean pink, they come in the gold. They come in pink as a standard, but they have uh, like the gold variation of it as well. Which it says right there, the gold foil board. All right, last pack of blaster box number one. Then we'll get into blaster box number two. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And comment below. Have you bought any blasters? All right, so there's an insert then and now. And then Corey Lee. Guessing that was it. We just got that relic out of there. But hey, we're not going to complain. We got a couple short prints and a relic. Not too shabby. Not, not anything great, but nothing... Uh, horrible either that's for sure all right let's see what's in blaster box number two hopefully something even better all right 25 bucks for one of these at walmart thankfully the prices have gone down on a lot of the stuff um, back to some, something reasonable not the 30 dollars that we were paying at one point unless you're buying them at meyer then they're 30 bucks and that's going to be pretty tough. I mean, I guess if you're desperate to open up some and all you have is a Meyer by you, well, you know, go for it. But I would say if you can, if you want to save some money, buy them at um, Walmart or even at Target because they're the same price at Target. And if you have the red card at Target, you get the 5% off. Target did have that deal earlier in the week, 20% off, which was pretty good off the of sports car. So that wasn't that wasn't too bad. The blasters then were 25 bucks. If, I mean 20 bucks if they were 25 regular price. Alright, let's see what's in number two here. Oh, Spencer Torkelson. We have that guy and then and now and nothing, I don't think, in there. So do get a lot of base cards, obviously, but it is a very big set. 500 card set, 400 base cards, and 100 short prints. Seems to get, I seem to get a lot of doubles of the short prints. That's what I'm finding out. And I think that's not uncommon in years past either. Here's our first short print. Look at, see right there, Rogers. Oh, no, wait, I had Jake Rogers. Sorry, that's Brendan Rogers. First uh, uh, Blaster Box had. Jake Rogers. Second one, I had Brendan Rogers. So, different Roger. Rogers, sorry. All right, let's get into these last few packs here. Hoping for something big. Let's see a red autograph out of here. That would be awesome. And those are very possible. I pulled a Reggie Jackson red auto out of one of these at one point. Uh, that was years ago. Um, Anything in there? No, 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 no. All right. Just a base pack. And then our next pack. Have you pulled a black chrome? And if so, what did you pull or what subject did you pull? All right. There's a highlights in the white, no hitter. So that's pretty cool. These are uh, white parallels and they're two per hobby box. And then we have a New Age Performers. And in retail, there's, they're just whatever. Um, they're halfway, they're not hard to pull, I would say, but they're not like every retail SKU has one per box or one per pack, that's for sure. So a little bit more difficult to pull the whites. And then that looks like a, it's not an image, but that just looks weird. Um, anyways, nothing to see there, but... Some of these cards do kind of fool you. All right, there's uh, Mejia. That is with a short print. And then we have Jack Flaherty now on the Tigers. Pretty sweet. He's on the Tigers. Tigers, pretty good start to the year overall. We'll see what's in the second to the last pack there. There's Adley. No um, helmet on, just his helmet off. All right, some of the photographs in here are pretty cool. Um, Thurman Munson, this is the um, Sensations, the pink, and then we have a Bogart. So overall, unless we get something out of this last pack, this second box is not going to be anything too great. But once again, you got to remember, for the price of one of these is about a quarter of the price of a hobby box. So 
can't have too high of expectations. There is a flashback, news flashbacks, and anything special in here. No, and we didn't even get a zoo card. So I'd say this one was definitely not as good as the first. Here are the inserts we got and some of the highlights. So we got that. I think you get one of these per blaster. Um, there's the one from the first. Then we got the uh, Relic Reed Detmers out of that first box. And then some more of the highlights. Short prints and then the white border. And then more of the short prints. And then the zoo card. That's pretty cool. I like that one. The Chicago Cubs. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. And if you want to see a hobby versus retail video, please hit that like button and comment below letting me know that that's what you would like. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.